So today is eight months and three weeks on testosterone. Um, I started calling testosterone my handsome juice. I am using uh, gel packets right now. Um, my doctor and I are talking about possibly switching me to the injection-based version of taking testosterone, um, but the possible complicating factor with that is um, I think I've heard on one of the many trans discord servers I'm on that there are, there's like testosterone shortages in some places. Um, it's possible that some of the companies that produce some of these things have been uh, a bit focused on uh, making COVID vaccines. And so there might be not as much testosterone as usual. So that's the time. Um, yeah. But you know we're gonna we're gonna do our gonna do our best. So if if I don't get to switch to injectable testosterone, that's okay. We'll we'll get there one day when the world gets back to normal. Um, so the other the other update that I have for you all is that I had my first straight razor shave this week. I went and got a haircut. I'm so handsome. Um, but I also got a straight razor shave on my face and my neck. And now I have all these little, these little golden scruffies that are growing in and it's like the best sandpaper that exists and it's so fun and nice. There was like a hot towel thing and some goo and more hot towels and more goo and it was very fun and I felt very handsome and um, yes, it's so nice. It's just, it's, um, it feels like a rite of passage, like a, like a masculine rite of passage. So. Anyways, um, the other thing that my barber told me that I thought is notable and worth sharing, um, you might notice I have a lot of acne happening right now, which is very um, normal when you start HRT, but especially testosterone, I feel like, but maybe it's just all the, any hormones, you're going to have acne. But in this case, it's not just acne, it's also hair growing in. And so it's productive. My barber assured me that one, it will end and two, it's productive. It's not just like only pain and discomfort. It's also like I'm actively growing hair on my face, which is cool, which is really exciting. So, um, it didn't occur to me and they, my, my barber is non-binary. They totally geeked out about like the science of hair and how it grows and all this stuff. I was like, wow, <laughs> I love it. I love that your special interest is how hair grows. This is so fun. Um, anyways, so that is my check-in and I'm so grateful 